Hey guys, my name is Marie and welcome to my channel. Today we have the Tevion Lip Spell Lipstick by Mr. Albert Gurniawan. This collection in collaboration with Famous Filipinas have 10 shades in it and although I did not get all 10 shades because they're quite expensive each, I do have them swatch on my arm. The shades are Maktoub, Claim to Fame, Tattle Holder, Oat, Sunday Kiss, Elizabeth, 41, Libra, Queen Peach, and Lay. I did get two shades from this collection, Maktoub and Elizabeth. Let's get started! First shade that we have is Elizabeth in collaboration with makeup artist Ms. Antea Bueno. This shade is described as sandy nude with peach undertone. On me, it's peachy nude with warm undertone. Next shade that we have is Maktoub in collaboration with 2015 Miss Universe Miss Pia Words Back. This shade is described as antique rose and on me this is a reddish rose and in some lighting it turns pinky red. What I like about this product is, first of all, they came out with 10 shades from nudes to peach to red and even a purple one. So you have tons of shades to choose from. Also, the scent is light candy vanilla-ish scent, which is not headache inducing. I also like the fact that these are pigmented and the shades are buildable. You can definitely control how much product you put on your lips. By the way, these are all mattes. What I don't like about this product, and this is very minor, is the packaging. Although it's beautiful in its rose gold multifaceted packaging, it is very light. Everything about this packaging is made of plastic from the cap, as you can hear here, to the base, and the tube itself. I personally like my lipstick a little bit weighted, but like I said, this is very minor. Also, this is a fingerprint magnet and the fingerprints are so clear, you can profile anyone who touches this. So, I did a wear test of this lipstick and this is the first hour. No signs of fading, still solid, very beautiful. This is the second hour, a little bit fading on the lower lip. But no buildup in my lip lines. This is the third hour. A little bit of buildup on my lip lines and tons of fading on my lower lip but not bad if you would look from afar it still look beautiful on the fourth hour the inside of my lips have significantly faded also the corners of my lips and some pigments have already built up at the center of my lips i had a simple lunch of water and salad because i'm trying to be healthy here <laughs> It's quite difficult. And after my lunch, 90% of my lipstick is gone. <laughs> I really don't mind reapplying my lipstick because for me, lipstick is lipstick and they're meant to be reapplied. For dupes, I thought I have enough nudes for me to find good dupe of this shade, but apparently I don't. So maybe I should go out and buy more nudes. <laughs> But we did find one and up against this shade Elizabeth is Maybelline Brooklyn Bear. On me Brooklyn Bear is the tiniest bit warmer compared to Elizabeth but you can definitely get away with it. Next shade that we have is Maktoub on half of my lips up against BLK in London. Now for London, I don't know if this is a limited edition or not but they come in a box with two lipsticks inside and they're in minis. On me, they're quite close to each other but for me, London is a little bit redder compared to Maktoub which is rosier. I also thought that 3CE Stellananda Velvet Lip Tint in Absorb is a good dupe of Maktoub. So here I am testing it out. But apparently, it's not. <laughs> Absorb is pinky red compared to Maktoub which is a reddish rose. 
And that's it for this video. Please don't forget to give this a thumbs up and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Also, don't forget to hit the notification bell so you would be notified every time I upload a new video. And also follow me on Instagram, the mother pucker. That's the underscore mother underscore pucker. Thank you so much for watching. Till next time.